Many people think that Wimbledon is the best tennis tournament in the world, and players want to do well at the All England Club. Winners stand tall in their all-white uniforms, soak up the cheers of a polite crowd, and salute the royal family. But when things go wrong, the pressure to do well can lead to some truly epic meltdowns. Players have broken rackets, sprayed blue paint into the air, and made spectators cough into their Pims glasses. These are the worst moments in the history of Wimbledon. First, Anna Smashnova and Jonas Borkman in 2000 and 2007, respectively. Most of the time, the women at Wimbledon are much better than the men. In fact, Anna Smashnova is the only woman on this list. During their match, she hit the ball directly at the husband of her Hungarian opponent, Katalin Morosi Arakama. She did this because she thought he was making her mad. She meant to hit a bad guy, but she hit a bystander instead. Smashnova apologized to the woman, but she was still fine for her rude behavior. In 2007, Jonas Berkman, who is usually very calm, lost his temper because of the terrible British summer weather and a series of questionable calls. In the fourth round, when he was playing against Thomas Berdick, the 35-year-old started yelling at his chair. He called the chair umpire, James Kaothavong, an effing maniac. Because he insulted them in Swedish, which was their native language, he got away with it at the time, even though it was pretty clear that he was making the air blue. In second, we have Fabio Fognini, 2013, and Greg Rusedski, 2003. You can always count on an Italian to have the most dramatic response to a close call at Wimbledon. In 2013, Fabio Fognini was competing against Jürgen Melzer. He seemed to be trying to get nominated for an Oscar by falling to the ground, making a lot of wild gestures, and talking in his native Italian. His actions were so funny that the umpire could be seen trying hard not to laugh. Another Briton known for his good manners, Rusedski, was furious after losing in the second round to Andy Roddick. A member of the crowd called the ball out when it wasn't, and the umpire wouldn't let them play the point again. In the same game, Rusetsky took a ball out of his pocket and hit it at the back wall after his serve was broken. Even though there were no ball girls in the way, the home player wasn't done letting out his anger, so he went straight for the umpire. After a start that included a lot of F-bombs, Rusetsky yelled at the in the crowd and then told the match official, well done, well done. After losing the next five games in a row, he lost the match and had to pay a 1,500-pound fine. Third, Tim Henman in 1995 and Nick Kyrgios in 2015. Nick Kyrgios, who's from Australia and has been called the bad boy of tennis, almost filled this whole list with his actions at Wimbledon 2015. A linesman heard him say, dirty scum, during his first round match against Jago Schwartzman. He later said he was only yelling at himself. He also cursed a lot when he played Juan Monaco in the second round. When he played Milos Ranić in the third round, he threw his racket in anger, which was against the rules. In the fourth round, he seemed to throw points on purpose against Richard Gasquet, which was also against the rules. Even though Tim's nickname is Tiger, it's a little unfair to call this a tantrum. He will also be remembered as the first player in the history of Wimbledon's Open era to be disqualified. His doubles partner, Jeremy Bates, is even more unfortunate. During the match, Henman and Bates, who were both 20 years old at the time, were up two sets to one. Henman took a ball out of his pocket and hit it with his racket because he was upset about losing. They went straight at Caroline Hall, the ball girl, from almost point-blank range. As she cried, Henman and Bates were kicked out, even though they protested. Hall didn't get hurt, and Henman later apologized to him and gave him a kiss. By the way, who hit the winning shot that made Henman angry? Someone named Jeff Tarongo. As he watched what was going on, the American's face was a picture. He didn't know it yet, but he was about to become famous. Moving on, Damir Dokic, 2000, and Viktor Troika, 2016. Damir Dokic, Elena's father, is known as one of the most pushy parents in sports. In 2000, he made headlines again when he crashed Wimbledon's press building while drunk and rude. Dokic is said to have said things like, the Women's Tennis Association are fascists and political, and the Queen is for democracy, everything else in this country is fascist, after seeing his daughter win on court five. The Australian was also accused of breaking a journalist's cell phone before the police took him away. They later let him go without charging him. Some people say that the fiery Serb Tariki has never had the right attitude to match his undeniable talent, and they say that his behavior at last year's tournament backs up their claims. Just two points before he lost, Tariki was shocked when his opponent, Albert Ramos Vinolas, got an ace. He asked the umpire to check the ball for traces of chalk because he thought it was unfair. The same ball he used to send Damiano Torella into space and call him the worst umpire in the world. After leaving quickly, Troiki wouldn't shake hands with his Spanish opponent, Torella, and kept calling him names like idiot. He was fined $10,000 because of what he did. In fifth place, we have 1995's Jeff Tarango and John McEnroe, 1981. In a third round match against Germany's Alexander Moranz, Tarango taught the crowd how to dislike them. Umpire Bruno Rebu stopped Tarango from getting an ace when he was already down a set and a break. This sent Tarango over the edge. What happened next could become a part 
part of Wimbledon legend. When people in the crowd made fun of him for complaining, Tarango told them to shut up. After Tarango called him the most corrupt official in the game, Rebu gave out a court violation and another. To his tormentor's delight, Tarango smashed the ball he was holding into the ground and screamed, no way, all done, before they walked off the court. To make things even more interesting, Tarango's wife slapped Rebu after the fight. Tarango lost all of his $28,000 prize money and couldn't play in the tournament the next year. You probably already knew that Caroline Hall was one of the ball girls for the match. In a 2011 poll, this McEnroe smash was chosen as Wimbledon's most memorable moment, and rightly so. You could say it's the most well-known sports disaster ever. It happened in the first round against Tom Gullickson, and the phrase, you can't be serious, became famous because of it. After the chair umpire called his serve out, McEnroe said, among other things, that he was the pit of the world, that ball was on the line, and the chalk went up. McEnroe called out, it was definitely in, so how can you say it wasn't? How many are you going to miss? He's walking over, the whole stadium knows it's in, and you call it out? Please explain that to me. You people are the worst in the world. Replays showed that he was right, but in 1981, there was no way to review a video. The title of his best-selling autobiography was You Can't Be Serious, which has become synonymous with tennis legend John McEnroe, who went on to win the 1981 tournament. Finally, we have Daniil Medvedev, 2017, Novak Djokovic, 2018, and Fabio Fognini, 2019. When he beat world number three Stanislas Wawrinka on center court, the 21-year-old Russian prodigy made it clear that he was a force to be reckoned with. Two days later, he ended up throwing coins at the umpire after losing in five sets to Ruben Bemelmans of Belgium. When Medvedev fell behind 5-2 in the final set, he didn't handle it well and asked the umpire Camilla Alves to be replaced. When he was told no, he started flipping coins to make it look like she'd been paid off. He was fined $14,500 for acting in an unsportsmanlike way. Djokovic is usually calm when he's trying to win, but in 2018, he lost his temper and got a code violation for racket abuse. When he lost a point, he threw his racket to the ground and got into an argument with the umpire. Are you saying that if I throw my racket this way, I'll ruin the court? He asked. You think I messed up the court when I threw the racket two meters past the baseline? Be honest. Come on. Fognini yelled a bomb should go off here when he was put on court 14 after losing to Tennis Sandgren in straight sets in 2019. The passionate Italian is always getting into trouble, but this was his worst meltdown at Wimbledon. During the match, he also hurt himself by punching his racket into the grass, which made his knuckles bleed. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today, guys. Comment below which you think was the worst meltdown in history. Till next time, cheers!